Good morning, my dear ladies and gentlemen. This is Light Liger here, of course, and today I'm doing a tutorial on Saturn Network, which is a decentralized exchange for Ethereum Classic and Ethereum. And in this video, I will be teaching you how to trade on the platform, how does it work, and also how to install and create and use Saturn Wallet extension. So before we start trading on the platform, obviously we need a wallet to trade with, something that interacts with the smart contract of Saturn Network. And I'm going to be using in this video Saturn Wallet. You can also use MetaMask or Nifta Wallet. These work fine as well with the exchange. However, I do prefer Saturn Wallet because it's usually giving out the best gas suggestions and also with MetaMask, for example, it doesn't always show you all the tokens because there is sort of a KYC process of getting your token listed on MetaMask, which I don't personally like. So if you own some coins or tokens which are listed on the Saturn network, they automatically show on the Saturn wallet as well. So first thing we're going to be doing is obviously adding it to our browser. Uh, right now there is a Chrome extension. I think there was a Firefox one as well. Might be in beta, I'm not sure is it working, but at least you have the option of using it on Chrome and Chrome-based wallets, whatever, it's Brave or something else. And we're gonna be clicking it here on the top. We're gonna be accepting the terms. The first thing it's gonna be asking you is setting out a password for it. Just use something that you remember or use occasionally or usually. It doesn't matter if you lose the password long as you have the private keys and the seed phrase. And now it shows us the seed phrase. Um, in this case, um, it doesn't really matter because I'm just doing it for the video. But obviously, write this down, not just on your computer. I really recommend everybody to get some type of a diary book and write all the necessary seed phrases there. The cool thing about the, you know, Saturn Wallet and MetaMask, for example, is that you're able to import uh, your private keys into it. So if you have money on your Exodus, Trust Wallet or Atomic Wallet, you can just import the private key from there and just use it on here. But if you want the extra layer of security on Don't Trust Saturn Wallet, you can do it this way as we have done on the video. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be just editing this name here, um, test for vid. And here is the actual address we're gonna be using. And here you can change the network where we're gonna be operating. So Saturn Network, as I said, is gonna be working on main Ethereum and also on Ethereum Classic. If you have a private key for Ethereum Classic, for example, the private key is gonna be the same for Ethereum. So you might have one address, which is the very same for Ethereum Classic and Ethereum, but the private key is also exactly the same. And I think this also applies into TomoChain or POA as well. So keep your private key safe. We're gonna be copying the address from here and I'm gonna be opening my Atomic Wallet and I'm gonna be sending out a very, very small sum of uh, Ethereum Classic into this address. And we're gonna be pasting it here. I'm gonna be sending this much. See the fees? They're very low on Ethereum Classic, which is the reason why I'm doing this video on it because Ethereum just takes too long and it's too expensive. So I'm gonna be approving here uh, the transaction and I'm gonna be sending it. I wouldn't have to do this, by the way, if I had imported my Atomic um, Exod Ethereum Classic address into the wallet, just so you know. And here is the transaction. We can copy it and we can see where it's going. Okay, it's actually already on the Ethereum. Uh, as you can see, here's the sum of money we have. And now we're gonna be going into the main page here and we're gonna be clicking my account and we're gonna click wallet and we can see um, orders here, trades, airdrops. Sometimes they drop a lot of things and there's even a huddle address. So in case people want to support me and get their native exchange token, what it's, it exists on Ethereum Classic and Ethereum, it has a different name. You can uh, use my link. But we're going to be going into the actual exchange. We're going to be choosing Ethereum Classic Assets. 
And we're just going to be picking out random here. We're going to be going into the universal coin. So you can search here, whatever token you want to trade. There's pretty much a free listing for every tokens in Ethereum and Ethereum Classic, a big list of them. Ethereum Classic has significantly lesser volumes. It's not as popular as Ethereum, obviously, but I think it's going to grow over the years, uh, especially very, very soon once Ethereum transitions. But let's go into trade now. And now we are actually on the page and here it is if you want to buy the tokens and if you want to sell these tokens. So uh, there's good thing that there's a token info which goes into the website and you can check out, always check out the actual, you know, whatever it's Etherscan link or something that there's not a duplicate that is using some link. There's charts here showing you the volumes and everything like that. This is important stuff. I like the layout. And here we can see also all the sales that have been going on in the past few days. We're gonna buy a very small amount. So the first thing that's gonna be happening is I'm gonna be buying it with 0.05. Oh yeah, so actually 0.05 is gonna be the thing. We're gonna be exchanging it. And this is how much we're gonna be getting after I insert the mount, you can insert it in this field as well. If you want to swap these things around, actually those buttons don't work, but you can send your search percentage and stuff like that. So the first thing is going to be, we're going to be clicking exchange now, usually depending on the browser, there's going to be a pop-up here and it's going to be giving you the amount of how much the transaction is going to cost. I'm going to be putting it pretty low. Let's see, 35 was too much. We couldn't afford it, 32. 25 okay that's fine so here you set up these if you're not an expert at you know user of ethereum um, these are just the things that basically set out the fee for the transaction itself and that is very important obviously because you know you know you don't want to overpay sometimes if you, you you can wait for an hour or even a day you can set it out a uh, much lower price and then you submit and the, the, the transaction goes into Box Scout in this one, if it would be on Ethereum. And by the way, this is exactly mirrored in Ethereum. They work exactly the same. But in Ethereum, it sometimes does act, ask you when you trade as new pair, it may ask you to pay for an activation fee on the DEX. And that's sometimes that's something that happens. The good thing about the Saturn network is that every time you trade something worth of Ethereum or Ethereum Classic, you will be getting trade mining bonus and this will be paid on the native tokens. So whatever, it's the um, Ethereum version or the ETC version. They are not, by the way, like insane price, by the way, they're not like that type of thing. And it's gonna be taking some time uh, until the transaction is gonna be taking over. And now the transaction has been confirmed. Uh, we can go back to our Saturn wallet and we go into the tokens tab. And here's, by the way, the transaction that was done earlier. And you can see right now we have the Saturn um, DAO token, which we got from trade mining. And here we have the UVC, which we just received from the purchase. And now how to basically sell that same token. So I'm gonna be obviously selling this on profit. So I'm gonna be creating a sell order by clicking here. Um, now I'm gonna be paying the approval, which I talked about earlier on this video. So you have to approve for the trading. Uh, once again, we're gonna be using a bit more lower fee for the actual transaction so we can get this through. And now the transaction has been confirmed. We're gonna be selling all of our tokens and we're gonna be selling them at the profit. So here you can see how much I will be getting if I will be selling at that price. I want double uh, the profit margin here. Maybe I want even more than that. So that's how I'm gonna be selling it at and then I will just hit the create order. And once again, there will be a pop-up on the actual thing. Damn it. <laughs> I should have probably got him a bit more uh, way to play with here on the video. So I would have gotten these uh, transactions going through. And now that the actual transaction has confirmed, we can see the amount of UVC here and also the price that I set it at per unit and the total price that I will be getting it at if somebody buys it at that price. And also if you go into my account orders, 
we can see the actual sell order here. And in case we want to cancel it and sell it on even a higher price, you just hit this button and basically it's done. There will be another pop out and you just need to, well, put it one submit and well, don't put it one. I mean, whatever you have the funds for. And that's pretty much the how to use the whole experience on Saturn Network. It's pretty easy. People make it seem like DEX is this sort of a very complicated process. It's really not. It's very simple. And there's more tutorials on their website. And as I said, the actual process is one to one mirrored with Ethereum. And it also works on MetaMask or Nifty Wallet or whatever um, wallet is that is able to interact with the Saturn Network smart contract. Thanks for watching. Check out my other tutorials on the channel and other videos. If you want to contact me for another tutorial or review, maybe we can do a business arrangement. Contact me at Twitter or lightliker at protomail.com. I'll see you guys on the next video.